You may have gone to film school to learn how to produce a film, but do you have any idea how to make a film about produce? Hey guys, I'm Tom Gilmet. I'm here in snowy Indiana in this amazing warehouse space working with the Kessler Crane guys testing out equipment. And today we have the Cine Drive system along with a Fastech TS4 high speed camera shooting at 720 frames per second. Many of you guys know that the Cine Drive system is great when using an iPad or a computer to set up a time lapse or a real time motion control move. Well, these motors inside Cine Drive are super fast, so they work really well with high-speed cameras like the TS4. So today we're gonna to be experimenting here in the warehouse just to see what this equipment can do. So for the first shot in the warehouse, we have the Cine Drive set up along with a Fastec TS4 high-speed camera shooting at 720 frames a second. I have a Canon 16 to 35 millimeter lens on here, open at 2.8, wide open. The objective for this shot is to Start here at the release point of an object, follow the object all the way to the bottom of the table surface, and when doing so, we need to pull focus because our depth of field is super shallow. We did some measurements. We got 20 inches at the top of the release point, 16 inches at the center point of the drop, and another 20 inches here. So I had to set up five keyframes in the Cine Drive software to achieve this, to actually be able to do this. So as it starts here, on the tilt, we have point A to point B. So there's two keyframes. Now within those two, we have three focus keyframes. One here at the 20 inch mark, one here at the 16 inch mark, and one back here at the 20 inch mark. And all that happens in five keyframes, camera tilts, down in one second following an object, and I got John help me out with this piece of styrofoam, we did some tests with it, dropping it along this piece of metal as a guide, and later we're gonna try it with strawberries and cereal to actually produce a shot that you might use on an actual commercial production using Kessler Cine Drive. For the next shot, we have a three foot Cine slider set up with a parallax bar. We've got the TS4 mounted on the panning camera plate, and the plan is to have the camera start down here and race down the track in about one second. It's going to do this parallax move super fast. We're going to focus on a glass. We are going to dump beer in it. As the beer starts pouring out of the beer bottle, the camera is going to race down the track. Parallax move, focus pull going on. Three, two, one, pour. Cut. Because the beer shot had a black background, it was really hard to see that parallax shot, so we're going to add a light panels in the background, these little sparkly lights in the background. So as the camera moves from this end of the track to that end of the track, the light panel will race behind the wine glass as John pours red wine into this glass. Three, two, one, pour. Cut. So I'm going to show you now how you can use Cine Drive on a three foot Cine slider with this parallax bar to do a repeatable move. We just poured red wine into this wine glass. Now I'm going to remove the fluid out of the wine glass and redo this exact same shot, exact same settings, we haven't touched anything, and pour white wine into this glass. So I really want John to nail this pour because uh, if he doesn't, I have to suck the white wine out of that glass and I think the white wine tastes even worse than the red wine. So, ugh, tastes like kerosene. Camera rolls. Three, two, one, pour. So we're gonna do another parallax shot using the slider. 
and the Cine Drive system. John is ready to drop a, a bunch of cherry tomatoes in a, about half an inch of water. Three, two, one, drop. Oh, perfect. All right, so let's take a look at this. Get it back to the first frame, hit play. Oh, that looks good. See the focus is pulling here as the camera wraps around. All these guys are in focus. All the water drops are in focus. For this next shot, we found a hole in the floor, we lined it with plastic, and we filled it with water. I have an eight foot shuttle pod set up with the TS4 underslung on the Cine Drive system. The camera's gonna start down here, and it's gonna race down about eight feet of track in four seconds. And while it's doing that, we're gonna be recording at 720 frames per second as we drop produce in the water. All right, now that we nailed that shot, John volunteered to step into the cesspool of rotten produce and do a tracking shot with the Cine Drive system. It may seem like John and I are just goofing off, but we're actually experimenting and pushing this equipment to its limit. And that's really important from an engineering side. Eric Kessler has been hanging out with John and I, listening to some of our feedback as we've been playing around with this stuff. And he takes that back to his guys and they produce a product that can do amazing things.